Kara here from Homestead How I just surpassed 45 days on the carnivore diet and my last video I did about my 30 days on the carnivore diet is going crazy. It's over 100,000 views right now. I can't believe it. So many questions and one of the big ones is where do you get your meat? What do you eat? Well, here's the answer. I'm not even a half mile from my house. We could have technically walked here. I'm going to my neighbor's house. They uh, farm. They have beef cattle. And every single day we drive past these beautiful grass fields, hay fields. You can see all the cows out there. They have dairy cows and they have beef cows. And they're grass fed. They're organic. And my awesome neighbor, they just opened a farm store up last week. I went there and I got ribeyes and porterhouse. And you are not going to believe the prices. I'm going to take my camera in there and with their permission, with their permission, I'm going to show you how we get our meat. And we're very fortunate and we're very blessed to do this. Every day I see that these cows have amazing lives. They're grazing their entire lives in these beautiful fields, grass fed. That's the story. So right now we're looking at the beef freezer and again this is local, organic and grass fed beef. Ground beef is $5, beef liver is $4, then you have all your different types of roasts and then we get to the fun stuff that I really like. T-bone steaks $8, bone and ribeyes $8, porterhouse $10. Yeah, this is my favorite happy place. <laughs> happy place. So they've got all types of meats in here. Now I'm looking in the pork freezer. I'm looking for some ribs because Lily's graduating and we're gonna smoke up some food. But they've got brats and sausages and bacon and you name it. Go home. All right, so Jen and I just got back from Wackelt's family farm, our neighbor. They're literally not even a mile down the road. Good friends of ours. We've been going to church with them for years. And I'm so happy for them. They got a really cool farm store. I went there last week and I'm going to get all of my meat from there from now on. And I want to show you what I got and we'll show you some of the prices on the screen as well. I got my full receipt here and the prices I'm buying locally. These, these are grass fed organic cows and we drive past them every day. Huge, beautiful grass pastures. We see the cows every single day. I asked them if they're grass finished and she said they give them just a little bit of grain at the end, like one bucket full for all the cows. Mostly grass fed and I am totally happy with that. So let's see what we got here. First thing, we'll go the easy one. I got, we we'll get some Easter eggers in there. Dozen eggs. That was, how much was that Jen? Four. Four dollars. I got two dozen eggs. Four dollars. Now we have our own chickens here. But I don't want to talk about that right now. Ground beef times two, five dollars. Those are all the ribs. There's my favorite. I got these last week. These are so good. There's two of them in here. This is a porterhouse steak, and the porterhouse is ten dollars a pound. T-bone steak. These are eight dollars a pound. Why didn't I get more porterhouse? Then why didn't you tell me? This was sixteen fifty. There's two porterhouses in here. Eight dollars a steak. Eight dollars a steak. So when people say to me, I had so many comments. Also, I got sirloin steak, show you real quick. I got beef liver. I got uh, pork spare ribs. This is a rack of ribs. It's rolled up. It's rolled up in the freezer. And then I've never tried these before, but I got short ribs. So we're going to try those too. Now, when people ask me, one of the biggest comments I got on my last video is, how can you afford to eat that way? I don't know how anyone can afford to eat that way. Six bucks. Six bucks of steak. Here's how I afford to eat this way. The typical American food that they eat. Someone goes out, they eat breakfast, they eat lunch, they eat dinner. In between, oh, I'm hungry, I need an apple, I need a snack, I need a candy bar, I need a granola bar. Then they're eating snacks in between. Then they go out to dinner at night and they have dessert. They go to Starbucks in the morning. They have their coffee. They have uh, soda throughout the day, maybe a couple sodas. They, um, what else? They go out to eat. They go to the bar. They eat all of that food. I eat one of these and then in the morning I'll have five of these. And some bacon. That's my whole day. What is that? Let's add that up real quick. Five of these would be two dollars, six of these would be two dollars, and then half of this would be three fifty. That's five dollars and fifty cents. And then if we go with the big porterhouse, that's eight dollars. I'm at thirteen dollars for the whole day. That might sound like a lot to you, but if you extrapolate out all the money you're paying when you're going to Starbucks and you're eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I'm paying thirteen dollars. Is way less. This is probably half of what I'd spend before. And the problem was before I'd eat like a big salad, and then what would happen? 
the bag of lettuce would go bad and you'd eat three salads out of the bag and then a third of the bag would get thrown in the trash. When I eat this, nothing gets wasted. When I eat this, nothing gets wasted. When I eat this, nothing gets wasted. I eat all of it. So people are asking me where I get my meat. What do I eat? This is what I eat. This is where I get my meat. And I strongly encourage you to buy local. Buy local. Even if you're like, well, I live in the city. There's no one nearby. If you're willing to travel maybe a half hour, 45 minutes outside the city, you can find some local places to buy your meat from. You're not only saving money, but you're buying a lot better meat. This is grass-fed local beef from right down the road. I couldn't ask for anything more. Beyond all of that, it is delicious. I had one of these porterhouses last week. I had two of their ribeyes last week. I had two porterhouses last week. They were absolutely delicious. So if you're local here in Montello or nearby, Go check them out. Walkwell's Family Farm. They're on Facebook. They have a website and they're absolutely awesome. Their prices are great and the meat is delicious. Big thumbs up.